Okay. Hi, you guys. Today's video is gonna be college, a school supply list, but for college students, freshmen. Um, and I wish I would have watched a video like this because I wouldn't have spent so my family wouldn't have spent so much money. Like they spent so much money on me freshman year, and half of that I did not need. Like when we get into it, I'm gonna tell you like the unnecessary stuff I'm going about. But it's just like a real, not so detailed list. Like it's a lot, but it's not a lot. Um, it's a real small list. It is unisex. Um, I'm not gonna go into great detail because it's like it's common sense actually. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with the actual school supply list, like things you need for your academic, <laughs> the academic part of you being in college. This is gonna to apply to on-campus students and off-campus students, this first part. The second part is gonna to apply to students obviously living on campus in freshman dorms or in dorms in general. Okay, so you're gonna need like notebooks, of course. Note, but listen, listen to this. Notebooks for classes that you're gonna need a notebook for. And especially like the prerequisite classes that like pertain to your major. So like if you're a bio major, you know, you, know you have to take like biology intro. It would be nice to have a binder or notebook for that class. But for classes like um, English, regular math, um, seminar classes, don't waste your time getting a notebook. <laughs> Don't waste your time getting a notebook. I'm telling you, you're just gonna waste your money. So get notebooks for classes that you know you're gonna need a notebook for, you know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't hurt to have like some extra notebooks laying around for the following semester and the following year, because I bought a lot of notebooks my freshman year, and I literally haven't had to buy, haven't had to buy any school supplies since then. Um, so yeah, notebooks, pencils and pens, obviously always keep some pencils or some pens on you, like, when you go to like those little events on campus, pick up a pen, please. Pick up a pen, cause you gonna need it. <laughs> You're gonna need pencils and pens. Um, I think a lot of stuff is transferred to like online too. So sometimes you might need pencil and pen, sometimes you might not. But I'm a type of person where I like to take physical notes, and I love writing on paper and pencil. And that goes into like a lot of things transferring over to virtual stuff. Um, so you're gonna need a laptop. It doesn't matter if it's HP or a Mac. I honestly prefer HP, especially in college. I feel like an HP is so versatile, like you can download all the softwares for your classes. Um, no hassle, plus Apple is only compatible with so much stuff. I feel like an HP laptop would do you some good, because especially if you had a laptop, I mean an iPad. Because if you're coming to John C. Smith University, you're gonna get a free iPad. Um, you get a free iPad as long as you stay there for Think two semesters you get to keep it so yeah get a laptop or sometimes the school provides you with an ipad so if you don't have a laptop and it comes with like little key um keypads sometimes it come with keypads i don't know because i worked in a bookstore last year and they stopped doing the keypads they just gave you like a regular um protector you want to need two phone chargers listen two phone chargers a charger for your laptop and a backup charger for your laptop you're gonna need two of everything, like two of everything. You think I'm playing, you're gonna need two chargers, two phone chargers, two computer chargers, or not even two computer chargers, but stuff for like your devices like this, your AirPods, like you need two of everything dead ass. <laughs> your AirPods and then the backup headphones, like make sure you have two phone chargers because something can happen. Like sometimes you might leave your charger plugged up in a wall somewhere and then you go back and try to get it and it's stolen. So, Make sure you have two phone chargers. Like I'm, I've experienced that losing a charger, and like you sometimes, especially a freshman, you don't have the money to like go and buy a twenty dollar charger. Like just pull out your ass. Like so, get two phone chargers. Um, get a pair of headphones. I know a lot of people wear AirPods, but since I've been um intern at Chapel Hill, I fell in love with um over the ear headphones. Like y'all know, I, I rock for this brand. Y'all know, ew, what is this? But anyway, y'all know I rock for this brand, Skull Candy. Get you a pair of over-the-ear headphones. You don't even have to get Skull Candy though. You can get Beats, um, <laughs> any other brand. But get some over-the-ear over headphones because those, um, I feel like 
are more secure, especially if you're walking from like your dorm room to campus and into your class. Like you don't gotta worry about pushing your AirPods in and worry about them falling out, put them in a the case. Like they're accessible. I feel like AirPods is only for like when you in your car riding or you in your room or a room full of people, you don't feel like everybody in your conversation. So invest into some really good headphones. Those were like a hundred something. I can link those in my bio. Get a book bag, a sturdy book bag. A book bag that will last you for those four to five years. Because my book bag is lasting, it's sitting over there. I love my book bag. It's, it's black, it's, it, it don't have to be black either. You don't gotta, you don't gotta be fancy, you no know, name brand. Just get a real durable book bag. It can hold your supplies, hold your laptop, and you're good. Get a water bottle. You're gonna need water throughout your day. Um, especially if you're walking in this hot outside. Invest into a speaker. I have my speaker, my um Eco Dot, but it's the big one. It was like a hundred something. I bought that last August and I still got it. Still works wonderful. Like, I even play a song so y'all can hear it. And I love to play a song. That's with the dot on 10 itself. And like my volume is like down here. So like. That's, that speaker has to get plugged up into the wall, actually. Um, I don't know if it's an actual, it didn't come with a charger. Like it did not come with something where I could like charge it up. Cause it has um, an outlet to where it could put a charger piece in there, but I'll link that down below too. But that's like more for like your room or yeah, for your room. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any more things like, um, for like the academic side, like technology. I don't have anything else right now for the technology side, so I'm just going to move on to um, people who are living on campus, especially freshmen. I'm really aiming at freshmen. Um, freshmen, you're going to be in a freshman dorm, uh, so you know how that works. Freshman dormitories, you share a room with somebody, um, a stranger or someone that you go to school with, someone that you may know. Um, for my females, I'm gonna say get bins that you can put like all of your sprays and lotions in. Um, like you can slot them under your bed. Like you can put your sprays, lotions, shavers, um, body wash, body scrubs, um, deodorant. You can put your towels and your rags in there as well. And like your mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush. That's for males and females. But of course, if a man don't use shavers and don't put the shavers in there, if you don't use body scrub, you put the body scrub in there. It's Common sense, really. I just advise y'all to get bins for like your personal hygiene stuff. So you can like slide it under your bed. Or you can put it like in your, um, they usually have closets, portable closets where you can like close and lock. So yeah, get bins where you can put like your personal items in. I'm gonna say get it off another bin for like your laundry detergent, uh, dish, deter dish detergent. If you have any like little dishes that you use to make like cup noodles, not cup noodles, but noodles like in a microwave. Um, and get another bin for like your snacks, food. So get a bin for like hygiene stuff, laundry detergent, dish detergent, dishes and stuff like that. And a bin for like your food, um, non-perishable items. Get uh, some candles or some room sprays. Cause sometimes like those rooms can get really muggy during the summertime. So I say like get either some candles or some room sprays. I mean, it's supposed to have candles cause it's against like whatever. Cause it can cause like a fire. Um, but get some room sprays then. Um, get room sprays and like Clorox wipes. So like you can wipe up um, like the desk, dressers, get like the Swiffer so you can sweep up the floor. Cause sometimes the floors can hold odor too. And especially if you have place rugs, area rugs, like it can hold odor. Like it can hold like a muggy smell. And I'm speaking towards my experience from living in John C. Smith. I had a wonderful roommate, never had any problems. Like it was never none of that. Females get a robe. Robe is gonna do you some justice. Like, especially if you're living in a unisex dorm where it's males and females staying in there. Like, I stayed in Greenfield at John C. Smith and it was males on the third floor and females on the first, males on the second floor and females on the first, second, and third. Uh, they call it the basement. But I stayed in the basement. It was really not a lot of people down there. It was real cool. But sometimes men would walk, be down there because like, they would have girlfriends or whatever down there. Um, so you can get a robe if you want to feel more comfortable walking back to your room, walking to and from the shower. Um, shower shoes, please get shower shoes. Please. 
If you live in dorms, in the dorms where you have to have shared bathrooms, please get some shower shoes. You're gonna need shower shoes. It's never gonna be a case where you don't need shower shoes because you're gonna need shower shoes. Especially if you have John C. Smith, you're gonna need shower shoes. Get a, um, and so these are like the things you use to cook your food. Three main things. Freshman, you gonna live if you have these things. Even if you don't have all three, but you're gonna live. Microwave, a toaster oven, or just a toast, plain toaster, or air fryer. Especially if you have an air fryer, you're gonna live. You're literally gonna be able to make like chicken, shrimp, steak, whatever. Like you're literally gonna make anything if you have an air fryer. So if you gotta save up to get it, or you can ask your one of your parents, or you can make like a list that you can ask like your church, or it's when you're going to college, especially if you're a freshman, so many people are going to help that's one thing that a lot of freshmen don't realize like so many people are going to be willing to help you when i went to my freshman year i had so much body soap so much body soap from my sister in law and other people they would just give me like a whole bunch of like hygiene stuff so just ask make a list make a post especially if your mom make a facebook post a lot of your needs are going to get met so don't think you're going to struggle because you're really not people are going to people be willing to spend their money people want to spend their money especially if you're going off to school so remember that that's the thing that you need to remember remember to ask always ask because so closed mouths don't get fed baby okay like i was saying like sometimes they have like a portable closet with that you can lock you can invest into a lock with a key or a lock with a number code i would say get a, the lock with the number thing and the key so sometimes you might forget it you might be a little intoxicated or something i mean you might forget the number code so just have a key room decor is to each his own i y'all can refer back to um i put the card right here to my um room tour in the mosaic village if you're living in like greenfield sanders myers uh listing any of those new reds like new reds they have their own dorms like they have their own rooms um, so you can decorate it as such, but the beds are twin size still. But if you live in like Greenfield, Myers, Sanders, or Liston, you still have twin size bed. You're gonna have only a half of a room, but you can still organize and decorate that whatever way you want to. Use. Um, so I'll just link my video right here so you can see like how to kind of decorate your room or whatever. Don't buy so many like organizing beans because you're really not gonna need it. I'm telling you, like you're just gonna waste so much money. Um, get an area rug, some nice wall decor. Um, especially some like little lights that you can like turn on like the like especially if you're in there by yourself you just want to turn on the lights to have like the big light on or when your roommate in there y'all can just turn on y'all little lights and it'd be a nice little vibe or whatever so yeah don't do too much don't spend too much on room decor get something that would fill up the walls like i had my like, little leaves and lights and that filled up the wall basically and, like made it like it was decorated a lot and it had like pictures on the wall so yeah get something that would fill up the space but still be easy to take down and put up have at least two sets of sheets and pillowcases and at least two comforters at least i want to say at the least have at least two of each two sets of pillowcases and uh, sheets two and two comforters so yeah because you're gonna wash you're gonna be there for at least a whole year basically so you're gonna want to wash consistently you know it's covid still so <laughs> and it's monkey pox i don't even be smelling so bad um and get a nice little blankie like i see my little comforter right there my little blankie i love those big blankets they like the 26 by 30. nah i don't know it's at ross they come they hung up like they're really soft get the biggest size you see probably like a no was it a hundred and something two was it a hundred and two by something i don't know i just link as much stuff down below as i think y'all gonna need um and y'all can just go from there really one thing that I like to use, especially since I live in Mosaic and I have a full-size bed now, is I like to buy the plain white full-size comforter. And I have duvet, I get duvet covers. So I'll order like two or three duvet covers and I'll be able to change out like the color of my cover. So like it'll change up the vibe. But even if you have a twin size, I bought a full-size blanket because it just gives me more room to like more, um, cover to lay with and like be wrapped up in especially if it's cold get a tv if you have a tv like for roommate bringing a tv okay that's cool if you bring a tv okay that's cool especially like if you're living in a shared room it ain't it ain't it ain't necessary for both y'all to have a tv especially if you cool cordial with the person y'all can watch tv whatever whatever half of the time you're probably gonna be on tiktok anyway they're gonna be on a laptop so it ain't really that big of a deal especially when you get a tv uh and if you can't get a tv it's okay if you can't okay 
Um, but for a TV, don't worry about anything. Just get like a personal router because like, you have free Wi-Fi, but just get a personal router for your room so like the Wi-Fi can be stronger. Fire stick or a game console. Like you can just, we can have fire stick or a game console. So it's either one. Don't stress it too much for real. If you don't got it, you don't got it. If you do, you do. Whoop -de -whoop. That's really it for the list. I'm just going to get like, um, give y'all five tips on stay in the room with someone else. Um, so yeah, five tips I wanna give. Um, oh, not even five, I'll probably got like three, four. Be mindful. Um, you can't do everything you used to do in your room by yourself. So be mindful of someone else's space and someone else's time. Um, because sometimes people do different things at different times. So sometimes your roommate might wake up earlier than you and it might, might be on and you might need to sleep in a few more minutes or a few more hours or whatever. Um, just be mindful of one another. If you need to have a talk with each other, just have a talk with each other. We're grown. We're going to college. We need to bicker and argue and fight and fuss over little things and start drama and beef. It's really not worth it, honestly, because when you, by the time you graduate, you're going to forget all about that. And it's just going to be so petty and childish. So don't be, communicate. Communication. Communication. When you communicate with your roommate, it's like saying you stay in the room with your sister, like you communicate with each other, or you stay in the house with, um, you have a roommate. You have to communicate um, with your um, roommate and you have to tell them like, um, hey, um, I get really cold. I have really low iron. So can we put the air on this temperature or the heat on this temperature? Because that are right. if I come to an agreement on what, what feels best for both of you, then, you know, y'all grow on adults. So communicate. Communication is key. Don't be afraid to share. I know people be like, oh, no, my mama got me this, that, blah, blah, blah. Me, I share with my roommate all the time, like, all the time. Like, anytime mama bought anything for me, she bought it for both of us. Like, she wasn't, my family just wasn't like that. Um, don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to help. Don't be afraid to console your roommate, especially, like, if you see them down, out. You done walked out, say you done like left your room, left the room for class and you come back and they still sleep. Like if you feel like you need to talk, don't be afraid to um, share or help your roommate at all. Have fun. Be like your roommate's best friend. You said what? I said I said fell asleep on phone. You did. Hold on, stay, hold on, stay on the phone. I'm finna close out this video. Okay. You can stay on the phone. But thank you all for watching this video. If you found it helpful, um, please comment down below. Everything I was talking about is going to be linked in the description. Um, I'm going to try my best to link like some things that freshmen may need in a um, bio and organize it in a, and make it in an organized what and put it in a way where it's organized. So yeah, this is the second video to my three part series. I mean, I'll make sure I put it all in the playlist for you all so y'all can see it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the vibes, okay, hit subscribe, like, and please put a comment. Yeah, see you all next year, especially if you're coming to John C. Smith. I'll see y'all next year. Don't be afraid to speak if you see me. I'm really nice. So yeah, bye. I hope that sometimes I won't I feel good sometimes I don't I finesse down West Campo I go down to GOG I go hard on Southside Let me show that Northside